G'day everyone and welcome to my video of the day. Oh, just need to fix that up. Video today of the day. Wow, I think that jump did like a whole lot more to my brain cells than I thought it did. Welcome to today's video. Um, today, I thought I would do like a relax, sit down, don't spread your legs, be a lady kind of video today. Oh, I need a drink. I'm like really exhausted after that jump. So unfit. A couple of weeks back, I was sent an email from The Coming Blanket, which is the company that made this blanket here. And they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a video review for them. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I was very skeptical at first. I was like, a weighted blanket? How is that gonna benefit me at all? Uh, yeah. So um, yeah, I did kind of, like I was very iffy with it. I was like, yeah, I'm happy to try out the product and see how it go. Um, when the product arrived, I'm not gonna lie, it sat on my dining table for about three days before I opened it. Just because I wasn't too keen to try it, I was like, yeah, I'll get around to it eventually. And then, um, yeah, eventually, obviously I opened it up. And um, yeah, it's this blanket here, it's, I think it's a six kilo weight that I've got. So either six or eight, you go online and when you do your purchases, it's like um, we recommend this weight, weighted blanket if you're between these weights and that's how I kind of did it. So I think it's a six kilo one, I'm not too sure. Um, and yeah, so I took it out of the box. I was like, damn, this is heavy. Um, not gonna lie, I'm very unfit since isolation's happened. Um, the gyms are shut, life is shut, the world is shut, have not been like keeping up with all that stuff. So yeah, this was like the heaviest thing I probably picked up that day. And yeah, I, what did I do first with it? I'm trying to think how I first tried it. I took it out and then I laid on my bed. I was on my bed and I just put it on top of me and I was like, well, I'm in a whole different zone right now. Um, I could feel the weight obviously. And then I was kind of thinking this probably isn't suited for me personally on my bed just because this is the size here. So that's the width. I do have a king bed that I share with Craig. So I was like, well, it's probably gonna be a bit awkward having this there. So I've then taken it out to my lounge room. And uh, this is literally where this is going to live for the rest of its life right now. I am obsessed. Um, I, I was very shocked to be as obsessed with this as I am. Cause like I said, in my mind, I was like, it's a blanket with weights. How is that going to do anything? But uh, let me tell you a few things about this blanket. It has changed my days. I'm not gonna talk about what the actual science behind the blanket is. I feel like you can Google it yourself. It's basically saying like it kind of repositions you, it helps your brain shut off, rah, 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 whatever. I don't really care too much about that. I more so like watching videos where people tell you their own personal experience rather than here's the stats, here's what we reckon it's gonna happen. So I'm like, I'm just gonna give you like an honest to God, down to earth review of this product by me, not by Google, not by science, not by anything. And yeah, like I said, this blanket lives here. As soon as I finish work, what I usually do, I like work about five or six hours on my desk, which is right behind you in like a little study nook that we've got. So I'm sitting at my desk for six hours. I'm kind of like hunched over sometimes. I'm trying really hard to get my posture up, but it's not happening. And um, yeah, once I finish there, I kind of like to just zone out, watch some Gilmore Girls if I can. And um, I have literally been a cocoon in this every single night this week, I think. Like, yeah, Craig tried it a few times with me, but I was like, it's not big enough for both of us. So I'm just going to have that. Please don't touch my stuff. But I don't know. I don't even know how to explain how this feels. It's like a, you know how kids like have a security blanket when they're little, like they like to hold it, take it everywhere with this, with them. This is literally like the adult's version of a security blanket. Um, I just, I feel just like I'm being hugged by my blanket. It feels weird. Like I'm not normally, I don't know how to explain it any other way, but I literally feel just cozy. I feel like I'm being hugged. I feel like I'm secure and I just, I don't know. It's a lot easier to relax than if I had like my normal blanket on. I usually do have blankets on this couch. Usually just like those little soft things you can get from Kmart or whatnot. And um, I, it's purely just for warmth. Whereas now I'm bloody hot right now. I think it's still in the thirties, like in Queensland at the moment. And I'm like hoping for the day's temperature to just drop because I just want to feel a bit more comfortable in this because at the moment I'm just like sweating balls. But um, yeah, like I am not even caring too much about the fact that it's a bit too warm for this. I just like the feeling this blanket gives me. I honestly don't know how to describe it properly. Like I just feel happy, I guess like, yeah, like that's all it is. 
like I think I'm gonna talk a bit about what the science they reckon is behind it. It's kind of like it helps your brain shut down because like not shut down, just shut off for a bit because when you lay down, your mind's constantly trying to like figure out where you are in life, like not in life, <laughs> where you are in life, but it does that too, where you are like position wise. And then, um, you know that feeling you get like when you're half asleep and then you have that feeling like that you're falling and then your whole body twitches. That's kind of like an example of how your brain's constantly on edge of like where you are. There's probably a proper word for what I'm trying to say, but like where your position is. Yeah. We'll just Go with it just go with the flow but um since wearing this blanket it's like i don't know there's a lot less for my brain to think about and just worry about with what i've just said before it sounds like my brain doesn't think much at all but honestly sometimes there's a few thoughts in there right now not working in my favor <laughs> um and yeah so i'm obsessed i just i think for the next like however long this blanket's life lasts for i'm going to be sitting on my couch, just relaxing underneath it. What it has inside is, if I go to the side, where is it? Okay, on the side here of the blanket, there's like a little zip. And if I open that up, I don't wanna open up too much because I don't wanna like take the whole thing out. But inside here, see that gray bit? That's like full of glass beads. So they're weighted beads inside of this. And you can easily take this blanket off if you get like a stain and wash the outer coating of it. And um, yeah, so the blanket inside the blanket is actually the weight. Um, it, it can have little areas that bunch up sometimes. So right now I've got like some of the actual blanket hanging over the side of the couch. And um, because of that, obviously the beads near the side have kind of like bunched up in the corner like that. It's a simple fix. I just pick it up and shake it kind of like you would with a quilt, I guess. And it fixes it up all together. And um, yeah, like I guess if you wanted extra weight, say this weight you feel isn't good enough for you, you just can like double fold it and do it that way. I haven't had an issue at all with it. I feel like if it was a little bit heavier, I'd probably be maybe at the suffocating stage. Like where I'd feel like I'm just too cuddled. Whereas now it's like the perfect, it's the perfect amount of hug. So that weight, Thing that you put in when you're doing a purchase and you go by your body weight really does have like obvious reasons behind it um also when you buy the blanket it comes with this here which is like the case for it and i think this is actually going to really fit into it nice and easily just because it's got those drawstrings and look how massive that is you know one thing i hate about blankets typically um like sleeping bags you can never get them back into the bag. It's like, what is the point of this bag here when I can never get my sleeping bag into it again because it's just, it's not wide enough at the mouth. Whereas this, as you can see, is massive. Like this is massive compared to this blanket. I think this one's just called the adult size one, which fits me as an adult. They also have kids ones. I think you can get a queen and a king size one. You can get like those knotted look blankets as well. I'm obsessed with the look of those things. Um, I'm actually trying to knit a blanket at the moment just to kind of have like that knotted look. I'm like that obsessed. Anyway, um, and yeah, like if I had never tried this myself, would I have purchased the blanket? Probably not. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I was skeptical, but since trying it, I'm like, I'm so sold. I've been like literally recommending it to everyone. I put a post on my personal Facebook for, um, feed and I was like, guys, like you need to try this blanket. Um, I've also got a code for you guys to use if you wanna try that yourself. I think at the moment, if you buy these full price, they're about 250 or 260 from the website, which I think it's like a bit high for someone, something that you've never tried before. Obviously, if you're like me and you know this product works, it's not seen as too much of an expense. Whereas I know there's so many people out there that are similar to me that are like, that's like too much for something. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I have a code for you guys to use. I get no kickbacks whatsoever from you using this code. I get no like sponsorship from the code being used. But if you wanna save yourself $115, you just use the code Carissa115. And um, I'll put it on the screen here. I'll put it in the um, description bar as well. And you'll get $115 off of the purchase of an adult or a child's rug. And um, 
yeah so it's a lot of a savings to use that code once again i get no kickback from it it's not an affiliate link at all this video is sponsored by this company just because they sent me the product in exchange to do this it actually was just meant to be like a short 30 second mention at the start of another video but i was like i actually really like this product so much that i'm going to dedicate a full video to it i feel like it actually is worthy of a full dedication so yeah i've done like the extra step i guess for this company just because I actually really do like it and do believe in it. This is the rose quartz color. Well, quartz color. I think it's just called quartz, actually. Get rid of the rose. And then you can get a gray one and a blue one. Personally, I didn't like the blue one. I'm not a fan of, like, navy blue clothing items in general. Just because growing up, my school uniform color was navy blue. So in my head, I kind of, like, relate navy blue to school uniform. It's a weird way of doing life. But then I also had, like, a, um, that green you know that green uniform that people have i also have school uniform like that so i also do relate the colors green to school so i think that's just like it depends on what school you went to when you were growing up like if you relate colors like that does anyone else relate their school color to like suits and items of clothing nowadays is that just a me thing i don't know i was tempted to get the gray but like as you can see my couch is brown and then i feel like with the gray it would have just been a bit too dull and boring whereas with this one here super stoked with it um in the picture when it said it was quartz i was thinking more of like a brighter pink and i'm actually quite happy it wasn't a bright pink it was just like this really subtle like it's like yellowy pink quartzy color like the the picture on the um, website is almost exactly what this is like obviously it's going to change depending on what screen you have but yeah um that's all I have to really say, guys. Have you tried a weighted blanket before or have you heard of them? Were you skeptical about them too? Or let me know down below in the comments because I feel like I'm not the only one that was skeptical about this product. But yeah, if you're like me and are skeptical, definitely recommend trying it. Like if you don't want to buy it yourself, find someone, one of your friends once lockdown is done and try out their blanket if you can. Otherwise, just definitely buy one for yourself because this is amazing. It's like helped me relax. It's helped me just feel so good i don't know it's it's so weird like i said it's just so weird but it's true i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a bit of a quick one um i feel like i rambled a bit at some stages and i feel like i kind of like tripped over my words a bit but that's what happens when you get in the blanket you just get like all loosey-goosey and just chill and relax and yeah maybe that's what it was i'm gonna blame it on the blanket not my brain i was just zoning out anyway Peace out, have a good day, and until next time guys, goodbye.